Fax will start 45 metres out from their own line. Wood, little run around with Murray. Finds Jufre out the back to Woodburn Hall. We've got men over here as McComb feeds Sortenstall. Sortenstall comes back inside and Luke Gale with a bit of a stiff arm there. And the penalty's given. He didn't look right there. And Luke Gale arguing. Quick play of the ball as well from G. Here's Jufre again. Running across field. That is out to Keys. Keys out back to Woodburn Hall. Looks to be a three on two here for Fax. Woodburn Hall goes himself but put down by the Cougars defence close out here's Ben Kavanagh thought about the pass but goes himself still tackles here for Faxter challenges Cougars line Kyle Wood dummies goes himself twists over has he got the ball down they claim the try but he's held up by the key for defence and he'll play the ball 10 metres back here for Halifax last tackle here is Keys Finds Jufre, Jufre, long ball out to Zach McCombs, Zach McCombs finds Sortenstall, Sortenstall's away, steps inside, and it's the first try of the game for James Sortenstall. Lovely play, spread wide on that last tackle. Didn't want to go with a kick, and a long pass from Woodburn Hall. Caught the key for defence, young rushing key for defence, out of position, and Sortenstall, as he's done four times already this season, gets his fifth try of the season less than five minutes gone in this first half and Halifax make it four points to nil here's Gale again on to Harvey Spence simply takes a tackle and it's the last one here for Keefley adds five goals already on Halifax's line here's Gale dribbles the kick through for Tomlinson to chase but Saltonstall's there just to bat the ball dead and Fax handle that pressure well. But Keith will get a repeat set here. And Fairbank again getting through plenty of work. Keswick short ball to Santi. Santi, as he got over there, I think he's just short. Put down well by three Fax defenders. Keswick fires it out. Here's Gale, Gale out to Tomlinson. A well coming from Saltonstall. Saltonstall did well, helped out there by Jufre. Still tackles here for Keith on the line. Keswick goes blind to Stevenson. Stevenson. Wrapped up as he twisted over. No, he's still short. Great defensive set here from the Panthers. Keswick, short ball again to Keenan Tomlinson. Well wrapped up there by four Panthers defenders in three consecutive sets on that Halifax line. And Halifax have passed that first test there. Key for 15 metres out from the fast line centre field. Here's Gale. On to Young, but he's grounds to an halt there. I think they overran it there. The Cougs attackers in a relatively simple task for G and Jufre to bring the man down. Here's Gale, juggles with it. On to Spence, fired out to Gaylor. Long ball out. Spence Keefe should be over here in the air. Robbie Story, who's been threatening all games so far, goes over for the opening try of the afternoon for the visitors. From that drive, here's Saltonstall. Met well there by Alex Stevenson. But it's a quick play of the ball there from Salty. Kyle Wood jumping out from dummy half. Great play there. Zach McCombs away. Zach McCombs sets out a challenge. Great play from Zach McCombs. And it's an early tackle there from Brendan Santi, surely. I'm sure the referee's got to be thinking of a professional foul here because if Drew Frey would have taken that, he'd have backed him to, to score there, really. Brendan Santi, quite rightly, is getting the sin bin for Keefley. Early challenge. As Santi makes his way off the field for 10 minutes into the sin bin. And eventually, Murray takes it up. Takes three Keefley men to put him down. It's a quick play of the ball there as well. Wood jumps out from dummy half onto Keys. Keys steps through and Joe Keys goes over for his first try of the season and just what he needs for his confidence after coming back from that concussion Joe Keys off the nudie run after 23 minutes here at the Shea Five has to take the lead 8 points to 4 Great play there 
from the Irish international halfback. And Calcott is coming on as well. Key strikes. Strikes it high. It's over. Great kick there from Joe Keys. And again, a minute that'll do. Joe Keys, all the world are good in terms of his confidence. Bringing the score. To Halifax 10, Keithley 4 after 25 minutes here. The story just takes up himself. Well dealt with there by Keys and Mason. Here's Gale. How oh, wide to Young. Find Stevenson on to Dye Dixon. Dye Dixon. Great defence there from Halifax who pushes the Young winger out. Great play there from Halifax. And it's getting a little bit tasty there. A bit of verbals going on from Halifax. But it's great defence there as three, four Panthers defenders push out the young winger. It'll be Mason who'll take us away. Good yards there from Mason. Little half break on Wood. From Dummy Half. Key steps inside and makes the break. Keys looking for support. But takes a tackle there, just, just over the key for 40 metre line. Wood onto Calcott. Calcott finds three key for defenders waiting for him. Makes good yards, 25 metres out from the line. Wood steps out and fires out to Keys. Keys out to Woodburn all. Woodburn all. Goes himself. Got his arm free, but no support there. As Wormsley out to Keys. Keys brings on Murray on the angle. Steps out of challenge, but. Stops his momentum, last tackle here for Halifax, so he stick, start that blind side, Keys, short ball to Cavanagh, Kavanagh, Kavanagh twists out the tackle, can he get over the line, he has, and Ben Cavanagh scores his first try of the season, for the Halifax Panthers, and finally, in round six, that brilliant combination from 2022 of Joe Keys and Ben Cavanagh, Gets going. And we're just over 10 minutes to go here. Halifax take the lead further. Can Keys convert this try? Strikes it high, is it handsome? It is. Joe Keys has found his confidence, he's found his kicking boots. And he's found a 12 point lead here for Halifax, 16 points to four. And it gives Keithley a great opportunity to post points here. Here's Tomlinson, Tomlinson, great defence there from Halifax. That's fantastic contact there. Tangata G and Inman pushing him five yards back there. As Doyle finds Awani. Close to the rook. Less than 20 out here for Keithley. Options left and right, they go right. Here's Eddie Bailly. Strong run of the ball, but put down. And it's another penalty here for Keithley. I think it's a late shot here. Less than five out from the line. Can Halifax pass the defensive test? Doyle fires out to Keys. Keys brings on Young on the inside. Young checks out the tackle. Gets out the back to Yuani, but well tackled by Tangata, but he checks him out. This is great play from Keith, a great offload. As Zach and Walls the interception. Lock and Walls is away. Lock and Walls there. Can he get another interception? Charlie Gray is chasing him. Lock and Walls is away. Can Dyer Dixon get to him? He can't. And Lock and Walls there. Once again, with an in length of the field interception try, which raises the roof here out the shade. What a try. What a passage of play. Keithley keeping the ball alive amazingly. And Lachlan Walsley picks it apart as he does. Little artful dodger. And length of the field try. And already he's in double digits for the season in League and Cup. The Scottish International. Keithley keeping the ball alive brilliantly through several pairs of hands. And it was a ball from Levy, plucked out from Wormsley. Great play there. 
and Lachlan Walmsley keeps up his consecutive try scoring games both in league and cup as Keys boot makes it Halifax 22, Keefley 4 and will Halifax look for another score 90 seconds to go here in this first half as Calcott does well, gets the offload out brilliantly to Tom Inman who looked to counter attack great offload there from Will Calcott here's Keys who will kick the ball there, great game management there and it's a fantastic chase on that left flank there Lewis Young takes the ball, he's just met by Jim, Jake Mays and Kevin and Keys who push him back so long, the ball's come out and I think the referee's in the rule, he hasn't he's given a knock-on, there must have been two knock-ons there he's given Halifax the ball here and we're just under a minute to go here could there be more points here? The referee's calling the two halfbacks over, not too sure what's happened there, something's going on report between Joe Keyes and Luke Gale but it's a scrum down for the Panthers all of Halifax players are standing left stats right and Keithley's don't know what they're doing do they go right, do they go left and Keithley push the ball and Tom Inman dives on it gratefully as Dan Murray winds up still going Murray last set of the half here for Halifax to put some more points on Tom Inman goes himself and dummy half has he got over? he has! and Tom Inman two weeks on the trot dies over from dummy half and the last play of the game the last play of the half sorry to push the score out to 26 points to 4 and is that even at this early stage the game breaking try as Tom Inman scores his second try of the season but his first in the league and Keyes puts boots to ball kicks the conversion to bring the half time score here at the Shea in this Betfred Championship round 6 game Halifax Panthers 28 Keithley Cougars 4 here's Ali Bailly met by Wall of Blue and White with Inman Tangata and Calcott bringing him down on the 20 metre line great contact there by Calcott Keithley got the ball away here though and they're breaking away through through story story hands it on to Graham Sally Graham great tackle everyone burn all and it's a penalty given and it's going to be a Simbin in the first set of the game in the second half here as Jake Mason it's going to be Simbin for an early tackle on the Keithley man which Brendan Santi was guilty of in the first half so he's even it up but eventually he does but he gets a quick play of the ball there here's Gale on to Gale again, long drift have passed out and Story again, has he got over? He has and Keithley strike back in the first minute of the second half as Gale looking to improve the score tries to curl it round and he does well brilliant kick from Luke Gale who gets his first goal of the game Inman fires out to Jufre, Jufre out the back to Woodburn All, Woodburn All steps inside. Little break here for Woodburn All out wide, Sortenstall, Sortenstall. Steps inside, but well taken by Dye Dixon. Great play here from the Panthers. In the Cougars 20, Jufre steps inside onto G, G. Flick out to Zach McComb. Zach McComb stepping inside, trying to spy a gap, the stepper. Keeping the ball live here, Halifax onto Keys. Keys running across the field, looking for someone to come on the angle. Finds Woodburn all. Losing the way a little bit there, Halifax. 15 metres out 
Inman on to Gannon, Gannon. Long ball, Jufre out to McComb. McComb steps outside. Thought about the pass, but he's still going. Last tackle here for Ifax. Five metres out from the line. Salt and stall. Oh, gee, sorry, from Dummy A little grubber into, into the in goal, and that's not a good finish from the Panthers. On to the 45. Here's Gayla. Out of the back to Young. Young. Fine story. On to Charlie Graham. Charlie Graham's away on this corner. Rupert and all's coming across, but it's great tackle there by Ben Kavanagh. Had to be, because he was over, was Graham. Here's Gayla. Spins it out to Gale. Gale, long pass out to Doyle. Doyle kicks it into the in goal there where Stoughton Star will collect. Trying to get out, but it's a great result there for Keefley. Forcing the goal line drop out. Five metres into Cougars territory. Wood onto Gannon, fights Jufre on inside to G on the angle. G managed to get his arm free, but put down by Adi Bailly. Quick play of the ball. As Keys shifts through. Charlie Green gets it, but great chase there by Keys and Kavanagh. Look at a force of a dead ball line, but holds his territory well. A story looks to make yards. Mel met there by Mason Keys and Key, Mason Keys and Walsley, the, the ginger trinity there, forcing him back. A story tries to make yards, and again, this Halifax defence, brilliant, restricting Kiefer to less than five metres out from their own line as Calcott shoots out. Big contact by G, and it's a penalty much needed there for the Kiefer Cougars. And that's poor from Halifax. They didn't need to really shoot out the line. Just got a bit too giddy. Looks like they'll just play conservative. Scrum down. 25 metres out from their own line. It's up and all. Looks like I tell you, it's Mason. Steps out of challenge. It's Jake Mason. Jake Mason. Goes past halfway. Great player for the Panthers. Wood steps out of dummy half. Finds John rushing Tangata. As surely the Keefley man went in for a second effort there. And six again given by the referee. Here's Brill Calcott. Massive gap here for Calcott. On to Gannon on his debut. Can he get through? No, he can't. The Keefley defence. Scurry back. Here's Wood. On to Calcott. Late tackle there from Dyer Dixon. Another penalty for this home side. Messing around the play of the ball again. Jufre fires out to Gannon. Gannon. Dummies and goes himself. Put down there by the key for defence. Wood goes left to Keys. Keys long ball out to Mason. Mason steps outside the challenge onto Walsley. Walsley! Great tackle there from Charlie Graham. Brilliant response there from Keithley. Matty G rushes up. Great talents there. Those heavy shoulders. Lasagna butties. Still tackles here for Keefley. As Gale finds Doyle. Doyle shifts it over, deflects it onto Jufre. And Jufre's away. Jufre breaks away. And Louis Jufre thought about stretching his legs to go, but just takes the tackle from Dyer Dixon. But Halifax still going as Sort and Stall. Keeps going. Still going, James Sort and Stall. Great yards there. From the Fax winger. And already Halifax are just outside the Keithley 20. As Jacob Fairbank, fresh onto the field for Will Calcott, takes the tackle. Ward Jufre. Jufre short ball to G. Steps out the challenge. Still going like G. Finds a 10 metre line of Keithley. Here's McComb. Picks up one handed. Tries to step through the defence at McComb. Still going, can he twist over? He's short. On the last year, Halifax. Fairbank come to Keys. Keys, one ball out to Mason. Mason steps inside. On to Darren Levy. Levy intercepts and again. Keithley survived by the skin of the teeth. And Keithley find themselves less than 10 out for the line. Here's Gale. Short ball to Parker. Parker looks to twist over, but. 
the Panthers men come in Drescu Anderson yet again another penalty for the Cougars and another six tackles on the Halifax line and it's another Simbin in another Simbin in Fryfax here this time it's Jacob Fairbank who will make his way to the sideline here's Keys brings on Kavanagh on the angle Try to poke his nose through quick play of the ball as well great play Kyle Wood jumps out of dummy ass still going Kyle Wood as Halifax 25 metres out from the Kiefer's line here a bit of a twist of the tackle there, Woods got up rather gingerly there as Matty G steps inside on that right flank last tackle here for Halifax as Jufre done his left, he goes himself blind great play there from, from Jufre, has Zach McComb got over? no, he's put down just shy of the line but great play from Jufre playing with his head up Keith always expecting the kick But he goes himself as Kyle Wood's been having to be helped off the field here. Worrying signs, but Tom Inman's on to replace him. As Brendan Santi charges up field for the Cougars. Here's Gaylor, finds Addy Bailly. Rushes off the challenge of Inman, but passes on to Joe Keys, and Joe Keys is away. Hands it on to Lachlan Wormsley, and that's definitely the game now for the Panthers. As Lachlan Wormsley scores his second try of the game we're just under 10 minutes to go here at the Shea and that is game set and match to the Halifax Panthers here in this big cat derby here at the Shea and that score pushes it out to Halifax 32 Keithley 10 with a kick to come and the pressure is now off Halifax now As Keys boots over the conversion. It's six of the game. As Halifax look to come out their own. Danger zone here through McComb. Always stepping, looking through. Gets the ball out there. Didn't really look where he was passing, but Jufre does well with it. Looking for a quick play of the ball. As Inman finds Mason and Mason breaks away. Jake Mason looking to Ty Dixon. Ty Dixon inside out. He's still going Jake Mason. Ball out of the back. Find, trying to find the Halifax man, but a knock on there. But Jake Mason just offering glimpses of what he's capable of with ball in hand. Just shy of 30. Inman onto Keys. Back to Inman, on to Woodburn Hall. It's a good play from Halifax. Long ball from Woodburn Hall to McComb. Sizing up that key for defence. Stepping out of the challenge. Great play by McComb. And Solenstall just runs out of room on that right flank. But great play there from Halifax. Going from one side to the other, threatening. Here's Mason. Thought about the pass to Fairbank, but thought better of it. Takes his tackle. On the 40, probably the last tackle of the game here is Inman. Jumps out from dummy half, takes a tackle of Kyle Keswick. And the final Uta goes. And a commanding win from Halifax, but it's not quite over yet. Is there some beef there? No, there isn't. It was a bit of handbags there, the last, uh, the last there. But when all said and done, it's a big victory here for Halifax, who record consecutive league wins for the first time in 2023. Tries from James Saltonstall, Joe Keyes, Ben Kavanagh, two from Lachlan Wormsley, and one from Tom Inman. Put pay to a, Keith, a spirited Keithley side, but it's the home side who win. Halifax 34, Keithley Cougars 10.